Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have a really cool combination for you. I have five missions in one combination. I have design and build. I have the treehouse. I have the swing elevator and the elevated places. You are going to have to see this. Will you, will you stay with me? Stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, everybody, I'm going to throw the disclaimer out. It's been a long time since I've thrown the disclaimer out again. This is strictly just for motivation, just so I can see, you know, what's going on. No fun in copying, no fun in, you know, doing the exact same thing. We are promoting creativity, but... A lot of teams are asking, Mr. You know, how do we do combinations? How do we, you know, what, what missions might be good? I'm going to let you explore that, but today it's going to be a five combination mission. One more time. Design and build, treehouse, swing, elevator, and elevated places. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's going to be uh, elevator swing and then the ele um, elevated places. Then we're going to total up the score because some of you are still asking me about the small inspection area and also the uh, precision tokens. So we're gonna take the whole thing and wrap it up and figure out the points. So let's go to the table. Okay, so here is the plan. The plan is to do the design and build into this circle here. We're then going to head over to the tree with this white unit. We're then gonna go over to the elevator, then to the swing, and then finish up on the bridge. Let's check this out. All right, everybody, let's just double check that we're in the launch area. Oh, yeah, we're clear. We're good to go. Okay. We're in that circle. We'll come back to that. Okay, we're in the tree. Let's head on over to this elevator. Nicely done. Now we got this swing to do. Beautiful. And we're on the bridge. Fantastic. All right, so let's go over all the points. Uh, let's just go backwards. So for the bridge, if it's on the bridge at the end of the match, that's going to be 20 points. Uh, we got this swing here. That's also for 20. And we flipped it, the elevator over, so the blue's at the end, so that's 15. So if you guys are keeping track, that was 20, 20, and 15. So that would be 55. Let's come over here to this white unit in the lower branches here, so that'd be 10, 65. And then let's go ahead and uh, take apart this. So, for the levels here, we got one, two, three, four. So four times five, that would be 20. And then we have this innovative architecture. So that's 15. All right, everybody, I have my trusty handy dandy note card here and my big old calculator. Let's go ahead and figure everything out. Okay, so that first mission I did, I did the design and build. And I also had my innovative architecture in there. So I had four stacks for the uh, design and build. So that's 20. And then my innovative architecture was all the way in the circle. So that would be 15. That's going to be critical when I add up for the small inspection area. But I'll get back to that. The treehouse, I got that unit in the lower branches. So that's worth 10. The elevator was flipped completely over. So that was 15. The swing is 20. And we ended up on the bridge at the end, so that was 20 points also. Okay, I didn't use any precision tokens, so let's just say that was my whole mission. I don't even know how long that took, but let's just say I showed up at the competition. That's the only missions I ran, so I didn't touch the robots, so that's 60. And then here's how I get the 30 for the small inspection area. If all of your equipment, including your design and build buildings, 
can fit into that small inspection area. You get five points per mission that you come, you know, you got points for separate mission. So that's why I separated this into two because one is design and build as the other one's uh, innovative architecture. So that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that's where I get the 30 points. So um, when we went to the scrimmage, um, that's what I asked. I said, let's say I do, you know, three design and, and build buildings. And I asked, do I get five points for each circle? And they're like, no, it's just per mission. So if design and build is mission 12, you would only get five points no matter how many stacks you made because you, you know it's only within that mission the reason i got an extra five was because innovative architecture is a separate mission okay so let's go ahead and add everything up so 20 plus 15 is 35 there's my handy dandy calculator um 10 plus 15 is 25 20 and 20 is 40 um, 60 and 30 is 90. Okay, everybody. So that would have been a 190 point um, mission. And what I also forgot is, you know, that white building that's way over there behind the um, elevator, you would get those points too. So that would actually be an added, I forgot to add this on here. That would have been an added 15. The reason why that's an added 15 is it's white and it's in a white circle so you would get those 10 points and because it's one level that's an extra five so everybody starts off the match with you know those 60 points for precision tokens and they get the 15 points for that white unit over there in the very back so you just saw a 205 point mission um, from what you just saw Okay guys, so there you have it, five missions. And again, I always throw out the caution, be careful when you try to put too many missions together because you know one mission depends on the other. So if you're off on one, then it throws you off on the other. So it's gonna be one of those practice, practice, hey, is five too many? Can we do a three mission combo? So it definitely saves time. Notice it, it never came back to home and I didn't have to look up the programs. I didn't have to put on attachments. So if your team can, try to put as many missions as you can, that you safely can inside of one you know, mission. So that way you're not having to come back to base, go out, come back to base and sending out again and losing a whole lot of time in home. Just, you know, you know what happens in home, this time goes by. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful to understand the small inspection area and those precision tokens and that white unit in the very back, those all can give you points. It's just a matter of, you know, if you're picking up that robot, if, you know, you guys will figure it out. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still having fun with City Shaper. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. This is Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics coming from you from Disneyland. I'm out.